think you're starting, Julie. Oh, I'm starting. Okay. <laughs> you're welcoming everybody. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Thank you, everyone, for um, your donations and your joining us and your reservations and being interested in this topic. Um, I'm very excited to be part of this panel tonight and extremely thankful to Michelle Joyner, the director, for reaching out to me in regards to the, the um, DigiPlay reading and the shot and their initiative to collaborate with uh, nationwide um, people that are working towards helping support domestic violence that are in the conversation of domestic abuse and really want to see uh, a shift happen because there's just so much that can be done. And I think as, uh, as a society, uh, we, could, we can actually make those shifts if every one of us stops tolerating the abuse and stands up and does something about it. So I'm really grateful to be part of this conversation. I am the director of Walnut Woods, um, the, the executive or CEO of Walnut Woods and founder. Um, it was just a, a meditation in 2018. And here we are today. Um, starting to bloom and, and blossom and grow our programming. And this is a part of the effort to fundraise for more programming for 2021. We did an initial pilot in 2020 and 2019, and it went very well. And we're just excited to be bringing more to the conversation and more to survivors and helping them with their self-esteem and in their... Um, I'm not sure what the sound was, but um, their self-esteem and their self-trust and really regenerating their lives after um, abuse. So thank you for being here. And uh, this is Toma. She's on our board. Toma yes. Hoffman. Yeah. Hi. My name is Toma von Hoffman and I um, joined Julie's um, project initiative and dream early on. And um, it's been very... Um, rewarding to work towards uh, bringing this project to life. So um, well, we're here today with three wonderful people. Um, there is um, Robin Gerber, who is the writer of this, um, of the book and the play. Um, then we have Michelle Joyner, who was the director. And we have Laurie Bernard, who was the producer. And we thought it would be wonderful to ask um, all of you um, how you came to be involved in this project and what are your hopes for it? What are you dreaming of for this project to happen with and to contribute? So and maybe we'll go in that same order. We'll start with you, Robin. Okay, thank you. And thanks to you both for both starting the organization and and helping it to flourish and for doing the play, showing the play and making it available. Um, yeah, I guess it starts with me because I wrote the play. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, I uh, was um, hoping to attach an actress to it. And I met uh, Sharon Lawrence, who has just come on. Welcome, Sharon, who is our amazing actress that everyone's gotten to see who's up in Calgary. Um, I met Sharon at an event in Ojai and asked her to read the play, which she did, and she agreed to uh, work on it. And then I knew Michelle from the Ojai Playwrights Conference. She suggested I try to get it into the Playwrights Conference, which she helped make happen. And then she offered to direct it. And not too long after that, I met Lori, who's on the Ojai Playwright Conference board, and she jumped at the chance to help produce it. So that's how we came together. Great, and we'll go to Michelle and same question. How we, we were just asking the, the question, the overall question, Sharon, since you came in, what initiated or what moved you to become part of this project and what are your hopes for it? So, Michelle. I meet myself. Uh, it's interesting, the, um, I think the hope of the project personally for me has really morphed into something else from a, from what it was at the beginning. 
Um, in the beginning, we were working at a developmental conference, which is all about new work and all about the play and all about the theater and excellence and striving to be make the play the best that it could be. So it was a different kind of mindset. It was more of a professional, creative um, venture. Since COVID happened, we had to put you know our hopes for having the play on stage last year um, away and Robin had the idea of filming it um, for this purpose, it really shifted, our, at least for me, it shifted that my dreams for the piece became much more um, altruistic. And the, uh, with the idea, of course, I always, with the material, you always hope that you're gonna change minds and open hearts and the, you know, with, with live theater, but the fact that we're now doing it all around the country, um, helping um, so many different domestic violence organizations around, around in so many different states, um, small, large, um, rural, urban, uh, and, and having these talkbacks. And, and it's been so inspiring, the work that you women are doing around the country. I, I feel personally very humbled um, by the fact that we are able to assist you in the way that we have been able to. And it's taken it from a, a much more of a kind of work um, dream thing to a more of a passionate um, human dream for me. Very cool. Beautiful. Okay, and we're moving on to Lori. Um, Michelle said it very well. I think that um, as a producer, one of the things that's really important to me is to um, link social issues with art and to, uh, to reach in and touch people's hearts uh, uh, through an artistic expression. And with Robin's work and Michelle directing and Sharon, of course, channeling Catherine Graham so beautifully, um, I think we've been able to do that. And, um, you know, sometimes you just have to look at a situation like COVID and it helped us pivot to a very different model, which was to uh, condense the play focusing only on, or primarily on the relationship between uh, Catherine and her husband, Phil, and the, uh, the abuse she endured in her marriage um, uh, and then to link it with domestic violence organizations across the country and by having the film you know we could do it Sharon didn't have to go hopscotching across the country and um, you know everybody gets an opportunity that wants it to really have a very profound experience and we're also partnering by partnering with theater companies, which we've done in other cities. Um, uh, they um, have the opportunity to uh, uh, reach another audience that maybe isn't aware of their theater and the domestic violence organizations and their supporters have an opportunity to experience uh, the thing that they're passionate about helping in domestic violence situations um, through the arts. So it's, we've just felt it's a win and everybody gets to, you know, raise funds. So it's a win, 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 win all the way around. That's great. Okay, and last but not least, Sharon. Uh, well, Robin let you know that we met at the Ojai Film Festival where she was volunteering. And I was there because I ran Women in Films Foundation as the chair of the board. And I, I say that because since I moved to Los Angeles, I became very invested in serving women's organizations, moving their uh, the opportunity for women to, to grow their industries. And in our field, that means saying yes, saying yes to first time playwrights like Robin, to directors, because we cannot do this work alone. You can't do it in a vacuum. You at least need an audience, but really what you need are, are collaborators. So saying yes to Robin's um, uh, request to read the play led me to something that really intrigued me, this beautiful work that was there in that first iteration. The knowing that it would be developed at Ojai is another incubation 
that feels I, I say yes to readings all the time and taking this project to organizations like yours walnut woods is a new a fairly nascent organization in this field and i salute you for recognizing that even in this this uh issue which has is ancient that there's still need for new participants new ideas the way you do things and you work with your clients is a new approach using that um, idea to build the self-esteem, to build the self-trust. So for me, it is about saying yes to women, yes to women, people who are starting. I feel that wonderful energy that, um, that Agnes DeMille said to, um, uh, oh, I'm blanking the other choreographer's name, but that there's genius in beginning. So that's why I said yes, and it's what's kept me here for, you know, four years or now, so now. Mm. Wow, that's beautiful. That's so interesting to hear all of you talk about that. And um, Julie, you've already spoken pretty eloquently in the beginning, but do, is there anything else you want to say what um, your dreams for this particular fundraiser and why you wanted to show this film to whoever was willing to watch it that we could reach. Sure, um, when Michelle first reached out to me and um, I just, first of all, loved the idea. And I believe that there's so many powerful, passionate, educated women out there that are in abusive relationships and their story is not, not told very often um, out of shame and um, secrecy. So I was particularly drawn to the story of Catherine Graham as Robin, uh, you know, kind of compiled stories of other women's stories in there, but just that historical fiction uh, display of what it really feels like to be in that. And it, it goes across, it, it really, to me, it points out that there is no socioeconomic um, factor, really, uh, when it comes down to it. It can be in any relationship. It can be between, you know, same sex relationships. It can be any, it can be anywhere. Um, and, you know, I had mentioned in, in my, in my um, publicity about this event, how it impacts, according to the World Health, World Health Organization, one in three women. And it was, it's my story too. I mean, I was a bright, brilliant woman and in a relationship for 20 years thinking, that this was what relationships were supposed to be like and not even realizing because mine wasn't physical. It was just very subtle and it kind of eroded my self-esteem. So um, I, this conversation is super important. So I'm really grateful, Michelle, to you for reaching out and to the rest of this creative team, Sharon and Robin and Lori for you know spending that time really honing this this um, project because it's brilliant. I cried again. This is the third time I've watched it tonight. I cried again. This is brilliant. Oh, thank you. You know, I, I have to say we always are very, um, uh, we're, 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 we're very grateful when we hear survivors um, tell us how much the play touched them because it means on some level we got it, we got it right or true. Um, so that's important to hear. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And I'm my hope for this fundraiser is that we can expand our programming now that we've we've tried out 13 workshops and we really, you know, I want to share one of the women. Um, I'm going to call her Rosa to protect her name. But, you know, she she came to us in a very vulnerable state and has two children and she had a job in media out of Boston and, you know, was very successful in her career and is going through a divorce. and ended up with a boyfriend and she would, you know, her self-esteem and vulnerability were at that time impaired and, you know, got in this relationship that was extremely toxic and unhealthy and got out of it, thank goodness, within a couple of years, but it did the damage and she had lost her voice and she's a powerhouse. And, you know, going through those workshops, she realized that she really reclaimed it and, you started decided to do a new career and got the courage and the strength to actually get a restraining order for her and her daughters and um, pursue um, you know legal action against this person and speak up to in court and won. So it's you know right. it's these little like 
baby steps that are important. And I just think that there's so much room for support because it's a gap in the services, especially in rural areas where there's not a lot available. And um, so we're really hoping to kind of hit the, you know, seven pillars of emotional and spiritual and mental and personal and relational and uh, a bunch of different, you know, so there's seven areas. I can't think of them right at the moment, but, you know, to really um, bolster um, and give a, a woman back herself. So, or any, it's not just women, but survivors. And, and then hopefully we'll expand that to the children as well. So I'm just really grateful to have this opportunity. And I really appreciate that again, Michelle, that you reached out to us. Yeah, beautiful. Um, is there anything else we want to say in closing? I mean, we're, our, our script is already complete. Yeah, Robin. I would, well, I would just say, Julie, that was so beautiful. And I, I love that you started with a story and, you know, because that's what we remember and that's what engages us and moves us. And, and what a wonderful story and your own story and the story of this beginning, as Sharon said, that's so beautiful. So um, your passion is just shining through. And I imagine that in 30 years, we have talked to some directors who've, been, who've spent 30 years at their organization that uh, we'll, we'll be talking to you then too. <laughs> well, I won't be, but other people will be. <laughs> thank you. Thank so you thank so much. Uh, I just wanted to add too that one of the um, unintended consequences of doing this remarkable play um, has been learning so much about you know, what people go through. And, mm -hmm. you know, even in like Julia, you were saying in my own life, you know, it's like, oh my God, now I understand, you know, what was going on. And uh, so there's a, you know, there are so many different levels of awareness and abuse, uh, you know, the, the kind of abuse and the awareness of those different levels of abuse and they can impact you know, people in different ways. So, it, you know, it's not a, there isn't a check the box and, you know, then you can see if you're involved in a relationship that's toxic, right, you right. know, there's so many different possibilities. So I, I also honor you for the work that you do in those seven pillars, you know, with women, um, women uh, organizations around the country that we've been working with are doing similar kind of work where you know they take the person where they are and 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 try to support them and provide what those people need in order to take the next step and maybe that's just even the awareness that you're in an abusive relationship so um it's it's just been a remarkable uh journey and it's ongoing mm -hmm. and it, it's it is remarkable how many uh colleagues you have out there who are really, you know, fighting the good fight and, uh, and, and walking the talk, you know, that's, that's very inspiring. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I wanted to say one more thing, uh, um, that I, why I also feel that this is remarkable work when we support women who come out of situations like that and to me um i see the the both generations that are affected you know that often these women have children and the children are also impacted my work has mostly been doing very deep transformational one-on-one -on -one work with women and i was astonished how many women had some kind of abuse happening early on in as children and or to be in an environment that um, imprints that abuse or emotional abandon is uh, is a is a normal situation and so by by helping women to move out of the situation we're not just helping the woman we're helping the next generation not to repeat the pattern and um i feel that's um you know we're doing a sort of a double double bonus we're getting a double bonus here and it's really rewarding to do that mm. so yeah thank you all for giving us an opportunity to highlight this work and to spread the word about it. That's really awesome. You're so welcome.
any 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 closing words okay so, I, I just want to thank you all for noting that it is world press freedom day i noticed that on your post and catherine's great gift was telling the truth that was yeah. what her, her what motivated her and uh, her, her truth she had to come to in, in a different way because some truths are harder to tell than others. But thank you for recognizing that journalists uh, mean so much in, in this world and, and the truth is, um, is worth searching for. Absolutely, thank you. Thanks. Okay, without further ado, maybe we'll close the evening and mm -hmm. thank go you. to bed early. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, lovely to see everybody. Thank you okay. so much. Everyone. Yeah, thank you Thanks, for everyone yeah. who's everyone who's watching. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. thank you so so much. All right. So much. Okay. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.